Here we're going to go over a greater trochanter bursa injection. Here we're looking at the apex of the greater trochanter, which is basically your home base to kind of identify the different facets. Here you can see the anterior and lateral facets and the gluteus minimus and medius tendons, which overlie those facets. Also here we can start appreciating the iliotibial band and the gluteus maximus muscle feeds into that band from a posterior perspective and the tensor fascial latum muscle actually feeds into it from an anterior perspective. And here we're going posteriorly. We can start seeing that rounded posterior facet of the greater trochanter. Nothing attaches to that facet. However, the gluteus maximus muscle is essentially lying on top of that, which you can appreciate here. And now we're going back towards the apex of the greater trochanter. Iliotibial band seems a little bit thickened here in this patient. And now we're starting with our injection. We're using a 20 gauge, three and a half inch spinal needle. We're keeping the stylet in the needle so it will cut through the tissue better. And here we can see nicely that we're just heading right towards that apex. We're trying to slip the needle under the iliotibial band and over essentially the gluteus medius tendon. And that's where the great trochanter bursa lives. So here you can see that needle tip essentially just between those two layers. It might be a little bit in the gluteus medius tendon itself. And now we're pulling out the stylet and we're going to attach our cortisone. This is mostly saline. It's about three or four cc's of saline mixed with about 10 milligrams of triamcinolone. And here you can see that flash where you can see the injectate overlying the gluteus medius tendon and pushing up on the underbelly of the iliotibial band. And here you can see it just essentially spreading in that tissue plane.